Hey guys, it's Isis. Uh, welcome to my video blog. I know it's been a while since I've posted, but today we're going to focus on something very important. I just spent a week at the Kushi Institute, so I've been on a very healthy regimen of sleeping early and eating really well, brown rice, whole grains, vegetables, and now I'm about to embark on a three-day road trip from New York to Miami with my friend Sarah Mady. Wave. <laughs> and we're going to show you some tips and tricks to be healthy on the road. So first of all, you have to prepare for it because you never know what you're going to encounter and what sort of challenges you might face when you, in, when you stop at pit stops and rest stops um, between here and your destination. You don't want to be stuck on the side of the road uh, with nothing but, you know, as Sarah would say, a bag of Doritos. So we're going to show you some of the stuff we're packing and then how you can utilize it once you embark on your journey. So uh, Sarah, show us a little bit about what we have here, why we're packing it today. Well, I just made a stop at the organic grocery store yesterday and I bought a bag of lemons because it's a great thing to put in just regular water for an extra boost of vitamin C and just to have something refreshing, helps you digest your food. Um, plus I got some avocados because they're gonna stay, um, they'll be for three days. We can eat them all along the duration of the trip and we'll have some fresh produce. Um, and some good protein on the run. Sometimes finding high quality protein on the run is very challenging, right? You mean you can't cook beans in the road? Of course, we're bringing some stuff um, that'll last for a couple of days, but you gotta be ready for it. What else? Tell us about your little miso trick. Well, it's really great when you have to stop on the side of the road, you want something quick, hearty, delicious, you're not going to find it at any 7-Eleven or convenience store off of 95. So if you bring along miso, which stays really well, it won't go bad for a day or two outside of cold temperature. Or ever, actually, because miso is fermented. So you could actually let miso sit on your countertop and it'll just ferment even more and produce more good bacteria for your digestive system. It's not going to go bad at all. Good point, Isis. <laughs> Um, and so what you can do is instead of getting coffee or tea at the convenience store, just bring in your own cup with a spoonful of miso, mix some hot water in that, and you have a little bit of soup to start off your morning right instead of with a bunch of caffeine. So that's our tips and tricks video blog one for staying healthy on the road. We'll keep you posted as the journey continues. Thanks for joining us today.